What's up, y'all? This is Slide Green Beats in the building, and this is how you do a flute melody in FL Studio 20. So this is how you create fruit melody, flute melody in the FL Studio, also known as this doll. You feel me? Add. We're going to go to Citrus to find the flute sound. Hit the preset tab right here. We're going to go to where it says wind. We're going to look for one called flute. Sorry, my keyboard was weird. Okay. When you're recording these flute melodies, you don't really want to do chords. Chords doesn't really work with flutes as well as you would think. So when I do these flute melodies, I'm just kind of like. So like. And then like. To figure out what BPM that's at. So like maybe that sounds like a 100. Watch. This is just like, you just gotta practice that. No, that's even slower. So like 80 probably. Cause you don't wanna be too far like. And then just work with what you have there. All right, and the reason I record it like that is because it's just gonna sound more natural to like the sound that you want. So like the key with making beats and key with making melodies really, I feel like it's just getting what's in your head onto the doll. So like, and you have a gift, like you can do this, that's the thing. And if you can't do it now, like it's not a big deal. Just keep practicing. But like, for me, that's the best way to go. So like what I'm doing here is just extending the pattern. So like extending the pattern, and then we're gonna just we're just choosing other notes for these. I'm using shift, shift down. And then what we can do is like we can make this even longer. And make this one like another one like and then don't be afraid to make a really long melody pattern but just make sure it's rappable that's also thing so like at this stage of the beat or the melody make sure what you have you can actually rap on and if you think it's too slow don't be afraid to move the BPM up. Yeah, see, and that's that's a prime example why you don't just cross ideals. I had it at that pace, I moved it up, and it sounded weird. So that's why, again, it's important. I feel like to record what you have, what what you have, and what you're playing naturally, instead of like trying to fit it in a BPM, like then work with it. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's add like another layer. Go to plus. So let's clone this. Hot air flute. Maybe use a different flute. No big deal. Use one that's like a little bit deeper. And just get get it. I start trying to record it quick as possible without losing the vibe. Notice how we just chose a different type of flute, but. And it's cool. And it, I think I record this part poorly. That's fine, just, just like that, easy. No big deal. 
This is just adding more sound to it. And maybe in here, just turn it down a little bit. I feel like this one's a little bit too loud. Let's bring them to the mixer too. Maybe like, I always try three. I feel like three is a good number for laying melodies. Maybe just try to add one more thing. Just, And you don't want to go, I kind of avoid the higher octave ones. See what you can do. If it's got to be a different sound, it's got to be a different sound. too much just that's hot I think I recorded the Okay, so also make sure you're recording on beat. I don't know if I mentioned that, but hopefully you did that so it records right. Now we're going to make it sound more like what I wanted to record there. And I think I got this note wrong. Do, 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 do. So that can be annoying, man. This, this part can be annoying, fams. Just the editing of the individual notes, but you know, just start light creating melodies, you know? Melodies is just like... Some people say like melodies is not important, but like I I, I respectfully disagree. you can do is they call this staccato where it's like I'll show you an example of doing a staccato like for instance basically like in order to vary this is just a neat little trick in order to vary the melody just play with the release basically just bring it and then maybe cut it in half there so when it gets here it's just like It's fire. Let's let's do some mixing. Uh and we're gonna use big boy big boy tools here to patch your boy. Patch her all day. Patch her, bring out the compressor. I don't know why, but this just makes your stuff sound better. Just throw the compressor on there somewhere. It'll just make you sound like you know what you're doing. So did you compress that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try to change the subject. Anyways. Reverb 2. I'm just going to the patcher and I'm hitting the effects. This is the reverb. It was just a, t a hint of reverb. And then one of my favorites is Patcher Keyboard. Patcher Keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Where's that one? It's my favorite. I just like adding the warmth. I 
just up the worth a little bit, the presence. And then last thing you want to do is go to the limiter because um, you just don't want a melody that's that like loud. So make it a little bit more even, play with the sailing a little bit too, just have it just more a little bit more control. Like you don't want it to just be like in like the three decibel range. Keep it nice and low so you can leave some room for the drums. And then last last step, maybe EQ2, which honestly like I'm indifferent on mixing even EQing melodies. Like we know we have the bass here, so I, I just look at this f so I can think of like how I'm going to do the rest of the track. So we know it already has kind of like a bass thing, so maybe a sub, maybe something real deeper can work. Um, and I don't want to touch it too much, like because it's just going to take out that part of it, and I like that part of the, the melody. As far as the upper end, this is kind of more so where like the, the lyrics would be. So maybe you could pass this one, do a low pass. This, oh, I'm sorry, vocals would be a better term. So you can hardly tell the difference. But this will just leave a little bit more space for the vocals. That's probably the only EQing I would do for this. But even then, you know, that's fine right there. And then also, like, keep playing with this till you get the sound you want. Maybe the ceilings look a little bit too much. Maybe it's not enough. That's how you flute melody in FL Studio 20, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe for more videos. Shout out to the team. Slime Green. What to do? Peace out.